We got brutal on the scene, wicked and mean. You know the jump shot clean, keep it a beam. And in the lane, baby, flow the soft with a lean. And when you put me on the block, call me the dream. Woodup, Woodup, it's ya. Boy, you don't know brutal sim on the scene, wicked and mean with a next video for y'all, man. So y'all know what it is, man. Y'all know what it is by now, man. I'm gonna give y'all five seconds, five seconds to bless your boy up and like up the video, y'all. I know y'all got your boy. I know y'all got your boy, Bruce Squad. We in the building. So y'all see the title of the video, man. We gonna go over it right now because I ain't gonna front with y'all, man. 2K is a little bit delayed on the information they usually give us every year. By now, we we should have already got some demo news, man. Because last year, I think it was around July 25th, we got some demo news. Till this day, people are still speculating when is the demo gonna drop. Guessing it's eight. 24 because that's kobe numbers man but we still it's all speculations until this day still ain't got nothing on my gm which already my gm and my leaks they usually drop a blog with a bunch of information for those men so it's starting to let me wonder did they do anything major for these game modes last year that drop around july 29th and when it comes to the gameplay blog that's the one where we see all the details that really matters last year that actually dropped around august 5th and usually it's around that time every year this year they have a huge delay of information maybe they want a little pass because of the current state of the pandemic but come on man even mike wayne came out and said in the last interview he did which one of the few times we saw mike wayne said yeah in the beginning it was a little rough but they're back to 100 percent you know i think at first it was a little bit rocky we're all trying to learn the ropes and you know over time it's gotten smoother and smoother and now we're pretty much 100 percent efficiency and we're we're going strong but anyways man we gonna go over the things we actually know we gonna throw out all the stuff we assume and all the stuff you know how it is the conspiracies are out there and we gonna look past all of that and go by the facts what we know for sure well the trailer probably gave us the most information and i ain't gonna front with y'all you have a few to digest but still a lot of speculations even Ronnie was joking about it. I ain't gonna front with y'all. Because you're always waiting for news in August. It's nothing we haven't done before. We like to build up the hype. And I'd say that we do a pretty good job of it. Everybody's talking about what those things meant in the trailer yesterday, so... Good stuff. Even Ronnie was joking about it. Now, the first thing we saw straight out the gate is the additional moving size-ups brought back into the game. The problem with the moving size-up is who really cares about using moving size ups? The reason why they removed it from previous 2Ks is because no one used it. It was a move that no one cared about. Who wants to walk up to someone between the leg, between the leg, behind the back? Like, no, the only thing we used was the standing size ups because then that would give us the ability to speed boost come on 2k y'all should know this i understand what y'all doing right now is pretty much bringing some of the old stuff and adding it to the current so it could seem like there is a little bit more but anyways let's move on from that the moving size up so now there'll be moving size ups and standing size ups let me know how much y'all actually use moving size up in the comment section i'll wait one eternity later oh my bad my bad <laughs> none of y'all none of y'all anyways the next thing we notice the flashing of the ncwa so clearly and they even went so far as to put mockery in front of one of the images so clearly the ncaa is back in the mockery now a lot of people is excited for that me not quite yet because for me i'm looking for my career to not be that one directional type my career where as soon as i played once i did it all anytime i play it again i'm gonna go through the same exact sequence which tends to be really annoying and tedious and 
not that much fun. Usually even when you go through the NCAA, it's usually a very short clip. The mockery experience only takes you a few hours before you finish it out. So you don't really go through and you don't really have a choice to stay four years. They don't give you like a quick one and done type stuff. But we don't know that yet. All we know, let's stick to the facts. The NCAA is coming back to mockery. Now the next thing we saw and they made it top priority to highlight these two things. I'm talking about the lighting. I'm talking about the stadium. I'm talking about the sneakers. Yo, they flash the sneakers and I ain't on front. These sneakers are looking really, really good for current gen. And I was actually amazed that they was able to show some improvements. So I did see a difference in the trailer, but then again, that's the trailer. Those things really only impressed me for a really little bit because let's be honest, when we're playing, we're not gonna be seeing that much detail unless you do montages and stuff like that in my career where you get multiple camera angles. Because when you're in the park, you're doing the montage, you get the far angle and you just gotta make it do what it do. Now the next thing, and they made it, I ain't gonna front, they really emphasize on this, man. They made sure and highlight where all these NBA players are from to the point that they were just throwing it at the screen, throwing it at the screen. So with this information, a bunch of us in the 2K community was making a bunch of huge speculations. Oh, does this mean we gonna be going all these places to play? Hmm. I don't know. Sometimes I think 2K be throwing out some stuff because they want your minds to start wondering so to kind of you know help with the marketing as well man so i don't know but we did see with the zion trailer i think they said they show a little clip they were showing like you know on a court some court in the philippines so we don't know and once again we only dealing with the facts no speculations right here but what they did was highlight the name or where the players from this is facts now the next thing on the list is the shot meter oh my god so so much people spoke about the shot meter it's crazy now when i really you no know, did my breakdown i didn't speak that much about the shot meter because the simple fact that i believe 2k been trying to steer people away from the shot meter now this is ronnie and how he reacted to being asked about the shot meter and besides, who uses a shot meter anyway? Y'all see what I mean? Now I believe that 2K been trying for the past few years to steer us away from the shot meter. And I'm for one, one of the people that they were successful with because I don't believe I could go back to a shot meter. So when I saw a shot meter, I was like, only thing I wanted to know was, can you remove the shot meter? Yes. Do you still get the boost when you remove the shot meter? Yes. So why you think 2K gonna keep giving us incentives for playing without the shot meter? You get a damn near 5% boost off your jump shots. Why wouldn't I do that? The shot meter was a big issue, a huge change, but for me, mm, not that much information that I really care about to be quite honest. Now the next thing on the list that we saw was there was a new neighborhood. Now I ain't gonna front. 2K y'all genius, y'all genius. You saw it looking like LA. You saw it. We like to build up the hype. And I'd say that we do a pretty good job of it. Everybody's talking about what those things meant in the trailer yesterday. So good stuff. Could it just be a different environment for one neighborhood? Yes, it could. But you got a lot of people speculating. Affiliations are coming back. Huh? I ain't seen no proof of that. Oh, this gonna mean the new world. Ah. Yeah, because they was naming all the places in the trailer. Nah, they was naming all the places of the players, where they came from. 2K tend to know what they're doing in their marketing. And I gotta give them props. They usually get a community buzzing with as little information as possible but what do we know new neighborhood the wreck is coming back they didn't get their partnership with Foot Locker because they're still using the 2k shoes store that's it those are the only things we got from that clip factual now that's all we know for current gen so far so let's move on to next gen oh you know a lot less 
Now this is actually expected because usually they want to focus more on current gen because they don't want everybody to just forget current gen because they want people to make their transition and they already know that most of their fans are still going to be on current gen because due to how the pandemic is going of course a lot of people financials they, they're watching their chicken so ain't no one going to be going out there and just buying the next gen just for 2k hell nah unless you're comfortable with next gen what we know is and they keep ponging us some over our head with it. Oh, faster loading time. Faster loading screen. I'm not impressed. Because I expect there to be faster loading screen. And in fact, from NBA 2K17 up, we've been getting faster loading screens. I hate Paul George. Oh my God. <sighs> Sorry, man. That just, that just got me going back right there. Just got me going back right there. <laughs> Whatever, man. All right. So the next thing is improved skin textures and sweat. Yeah, I'm talking about a lot of sweat. <laughs> Y'all see that trailer? I'm talking about a lot of sweat. One thing 2K knows what to do is sweat. Now, the thing is, although I'm impressed with how it looks, I, as a gamer, understand that this is not the angle I'll be viewing while I'll be playing unless I go in there and try to get some clips or some montages. It only matters so much, but it's still very important that they do make this huge jump. Now, the next thing I noticed from that trailer was the collision animation improvement. And we saw it when Zion dunked on the rim, how the ring reacted, how there wasn't any clipping when he dunked on the rim. It really looked like his hand holding on to a rim. Something that 2K kind of struggled with over the years, where some of the dunks seem and they improve over the years. But I saw this, and hopefully, Hopefully, this is a really good indication that there will be less clipping going forward, man. One of the biggest issues they had, and I can understand it's way difficult to them most game. You know, clipping is when you all see one texture goes through the next, just that it shouldn't be going through it. Even when you go and put on clothes right now in the park, you see a lot of clipping within from the shoes to the pants and all that stuff like that. Like, hopefully, they address these minor things that make a huge difference in the game man so the collision animation is something that stood out to me and there's one more thing i forgot to mention we got a little leak now it was a little on the fence to put this out there man because it was actually done by the WNBA website that the WNBA will be having their own marker which is interesting in itself because what this means to me as someone who enjoys my career i know a lot of y'all already clicking off man a lot of y'all hate my career i know i know i know but what this means is you got next my career for me to go through man i ain't going for a lot of people talking about female going in the park and all this we don't know that for sure yet y'all still jumping to conclusions let's just stay with the facts we know the WNBA is gonna have their own my career that's a huge step and it's a huge step in the right directions but anyways man that's pretty much all we know when it comes to my career park and all that we ain't gonna know about nothing else but one thing i gotta say one thing i gotta say that we know is that my team players my team players is gonna be winning for current and next gen that's why i'm gonna end it they're gonna be winning and here's why they already start talking about there's new way to compete in my team. They already start talking about new game modes where you could actually win a championship room. But one of the biggest features, one of the biggest things that stand out is this. They could take everything, everything. I'm talking about the cars. I'm talking about not my team points. I'm talking about BC wallets even being shared. I'm talking about everything they earned from current gen all the way to next gen. Really? And all we could take is the VC we earned. <sighs> yes. 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 That's it. So to me, so far, from the information I've been getting, my team will be winning. And it makes sense. My team is definitely one of the most lucrative 
parts of 2k and it's probably the most popular game mode right now usually when people get tired of my career they go to my team i know a lot of people that already spent some racks i'll be seeing ronnie in the end stream got the best odds ever but we're not going to talk about it that's a separate video by itself be able to <gasps> <laughs> Unbelievable! Last dance! We go dancing! But anyways man, hopefully this video helped you all out. You know it took me a little while to get this information to let you all know the facts. What we know 100% for NBA 2K21, man. So you already know your boy said make sure like the, the video if you're first time. Don't forget, like the video, share the video, and hit your boy a your sub. Subscribe. If it's not your first time, like the video, share the video. You never know who's gonna be informed, y'all. Your boy Sim on love, respect, bless up. Peace. 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 Peace.